Hi everybody, this is Trevor with Market Delta, and I wanted to give a playback example of how to read the footprint. Many times we have new users who are first being exposed to the footprint chart and don't necessarily know how to look at it or approach it. Now while there's many ways you may look at this, and you may be a seasoned trader with lots of experience and you know how you want to apply the data, that's fine, but there's certainly others who aren't quite sure how to even begin looking at it. And so from a real-time perspective, I want to walk through an example and just give at least one perspective of to how you can read the data. And we're really going to look at it at some key levels. So let me explain what I have on my chart. Uh, basically, I have a delta footprint chart. We're going to be doing a playback. Um, this is just a delta footprint with a volume distribution showing uh, the current day as it builds. This is a volume breakdown indicator down here at the bottom. This is obviously a market profile chart. And the red line is the VWAP, volume weighted average price. Now is what I've done is I've taken this, I've added a horizontal reference line here and it's previous value area low. That's what this stands for, PVAL. You can see that it's reflected right here. This black bar um, is just uh, the value area. And we're looking at this key key level here, the 71s pretty much, the value area low from the previous day. So I've just picked that as a random point to look at how the market behaves at a known reference point. So I'm going to go ahead and start the playback. You'll see this. It's going to be in a high speed. It's basically playing back. 20 seconds of market activity every second and uh, we'll let this play now okay notice it's first testing okay I'll pause that notice how it went up and tested the value area low from the previous day so we gapped open trading a little bit below it nothing major but we went up and if you saw if you back up the video you see this was initially dark blue and then it became more light blue so the aggressive buying that pushed it into it became much more neutral as it hit that point. The sellers started to step in and neutralize the trade. Let's just continue to hit play and we'll watch it as it as it builds here. Now something you want to note as it trades, notice down here at the bottom, this is the cumulative delta for each bar. So if you added up all these numbers, it gives you an idea of whether you're seeing more selling or more buying within a particular bar. So it's important especially to look at at new lows as we're pushing new lows right now for the day and to see how this behaves. Okay now this was a perfect example and I know this is kind of a fast talk through as we were trying to watch this but notice as the market was trading lower for the most part we were seeing selling. Here's a This is a perfect example of what we refer to as the delta divergence pattern where you get a new low and, but when this bar closed you actually had net buying. There was more aggressive buying at those low prices. Also notice the volume node that it's, that it's building here. Now another thing that makes this a real nice pattern is we had this reversal pattern where we traded to new lows and notice how this bar is composed had more net buyers, more trading at the ask, but it also has follow through. And this is something that the footprint, you won't see this on other charts because you're not seeing a bar broken up bar price by price. So what we're looking for, let's say you just got long here arbitrarily. How much do you know, how, how long do you stay in this trade? Do you just take your two ticks, your one tick, your two, your two points? or is there something that can help you keep in this trade longer and by seeing price develop price by price and seeing that the buyers are being more aggressive here and driving price essentially from these lows driving price higher this is uh, transparency that you won't see on any other chart so when it comes down to the execution level deciding when to take the trade and then monitoring the trade once you're in it that's going to be those are two key benefits to the footprint chart. So let's go ahead and hit play again and let this play out. Notice it's going to go back up here and test. It's testing this area. Let's just watch it play. Notice what we see here. I don't even have to say it. You're probably thinking, look at how the sellers came in in that retest. Now it happened to be the, a retest of the high of the day, but it's also at this known reference point that we've we've marked on the chart. So it helps make the decision easier to actually take the short. You may ask, well, why? Simply because we saw 
the sellers step in at that level and that that can provide added confidence you're not the only one with the idea to get short at a particular point one of the things that uh, this you can the way the, one of the ways you can view this as is more the a view of the market psychology this is how traders across the globe are interacting with price so you can see is it traded higher from here okay now look now you see the now you can see how this the buyers came came in fairly strong Okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and jump ahead now. I'm going to kind of fast forward it to a retest of the lows. So let's just I'll let this play out. You can watch this develop at a high, higher speed rate. It's basically playing back one minute every second. And I want to show you what a retest of the lows because, again, we have this known reference point. That actually, we can watch it trade right here. It just bounced off it, but here they come in selling it again but again a, a known reference point would be the low of the day and that low of the day up until now is right here 66 half and so I want to show a very classic pattern of what to look for at, at extremes it's coming up here in about uh, well a few minutes we'll just let it play But this is it's sometimes fun to watch this play out in a, on these playbacks. And this is just under the file playback menu. You just pick the instrument and uh, the, the time you want to play back and uh, hit play. And it's neat to watch this develop. It's a good training exercise, too, when you're looking for patterns or things. Okay, now we want to see what it does down here around the 66, 67 level. Um, notice, let me pause this. Notice as it traded down, what do we see? we're seeing selling increase in the direction of the trend. Let me say that another way. We're seeing the delta, the trading on the bid, meaning how these sellers are coming in hitting bids. It's, it's becoming more and more aggressive where you're seeing more and more volume at the bid as price trades lower. That helps to confirm this. Okay, let's play it out a little bit more. We want to see what it does. Uh, I, get, I think it retests the low here. And that'll be the final example for this video. Okay, so watch what we're seeing here. You see that? I know this, I should have slowed it down. But here's, yeah, I should have slowed that down. But let me, um, let me explain what we saw here. It first traded down, consolidated a bit, and then went lower. And you see the how this bar is comprised? This is something, again, the footprint only the footprint provides you're not just having to experience the fact that price traded a new low and then began to move higher you're actually seeing how it moved higher intra bar you're able to see that the buyers actually did step in and begin to lift offers aggressively going back to just auction market theory this is a classic classic pattern we would want to look all i mean by that is this price when price gets to a, a, a low enough price it's advantageous for buyers to want to step in and, and take longs or cover shorts. So that's what you saw here. You can see it confirmed on this volume breakdown indicator with follow through. And I'll hit play and let this just play out a few more uh, minutes just so you can see what we have here. Okay, so hopefully you found this, uh, this example useful. I'll try and do a few more of these as we go. Um, if you're wondering what the periodicity of this chart is, that may be one that uh, someone's thinking. If I double click the chart, I have it set to one and a quarter range. This is one you often see examples of uh, throughout Market Delta's webinars and stuff. It's a nice, nice periodicity to check out. So 1.25 range. Uh, if you want more information on that, check out the knowledge base uh, or the help manual for the range periodicity. Thanks, and make a great day.